One morning, Mr. Brown had a surprise. We are taking a trip to the beach, he said. Paddington, Jonathan, and Jody cheered. Mrs. Brown and Mrs. Bird were excited too. Paddington had never been to the beach. He did not know what to bring, so he packed everything. Soon they were on their way. Paddington poked his head out the window. He sniffed the softy sea air. At the beach, Paddington got a pail, shovel, sunglasses, and a float. He was ready for anything. The tide was low, and they went in the water. Jonathan and Judy splashed and swam. Paddington floated in the waves. At lunch, Mr. Brown had a great idea. He said, "Let's have a sandcastle contest." Paddington, Judy, and Jonathan would each make a sandcastle. The biggest castle would win. Paddington wanted to win. First, he found a perfect spot. He dug a moat. He carried pails and pails of sand. He made walls and windows. Paddington placed his hat on the top of the castle. Finally, he was done. Paddington's big sand castle was perfect. Paddington sat inside his castle. Sand castle work was hard, and he was tired. Then he fell asleep. Oh no! The tide had come in. It knocked down Paddington's sand castle. It carried Paddington's pail out to sea, with Paddington in it. The Browns were worried. It was getting late. They found Paddington's hat, but could not find Paddington. Where had he gone? Then the Browns spotted people gathered near the pier. They ran towards the crowd. It was Paddington. People believed that Paddington had floated all the way across the sea. They took his picture. Did you float here in this pail? A girl asked. Yes, I used my shovel as a paddle," said Paddington. The sun was setting. It was time to go home. Did you enjoy your trip, Paddington? Asked Judy. Yes, not many bears go to the sea in a bucket," he said. The Browns were so happy to have Paddington back. Today's trip was a bit shorter than when you came from Douglas, Peru," said Mrs. Brown. Paddington did not hear. He was fast asleep.